Wow, close at home though. Storm Tracker 4 alert day here and Storm Tracker 4 Chief Meteorologist Matt Brode. Uh, we've got some snow up on that mountain and I know Ski Valley looking to open this Friday. So I hope so. I think I heard you waxing your skis over there. Yeah, right. I usually I'm a rental out. kind of guy. I don't own mine, but they can wax it for me. I'd love to get up there and check it out. Question will be how quickly does it warm up? And that's something we'll be tracking here. But let's uh, first and foremost start about what we're tracking here in the Storm Tracker 4 Weather Center. Uh, yes, it's an alert day. We are seeing those skies begin to clear out, though. Patchy fog could develop and probably will develop by the morning hours, and that's all contingent upon if we can get those skies to clear on out, and we're seeing the evidence of that is happening. And then, yes, a big warm up next work week, so maybe some spring skiing into the cars for us. So we had two big kind of rain events, right? They happened about a day and a half apart from each other. And they lasted for about a day and a half. So we're going to go with this three day rainfall totals and they were pretty impressive, right? Over an inch and a half of rain in Oro Valley. Look at this Tucson International Airport, a place that oftentimes we joke does not get a lot of rain. Well, you we actually got over an inch of rain, an inch and a third, almost two inches of rain down in Corona de Tucson, Sauerita, over an inch and three quarters. Here's live Doppler now on this Wednesday early evening, and we're really not tracking much in the way of showers anymore. More, a couple across south central portions of Graham County as we take you into Cochise County near Sierra Vista, maybe a sprinkle or two. Let's just bring this up. I don't think anything's happening close to Tucson. Uh, certainly not. So what we will be seeing here over the course of the next several hours, our sky is starting to clear and you can see some formidable clouds moving in, but they start to uh, uh, evaporate a little bit. We're starting to see a little bit of a clear zone and that is going to really be the uh, reason why we're going to see the fog, right? Because if we can clear those skies out, if we can really get close to that dew point, I think we have a good chance of seeing some of that morning fog. So please be careful on the roadways early on your Thursday morning. Low pressure definitely off to our east now. That's going to continue to move on to the northeast. And in its wake, we will see another little reinforcing disturbance, bring possibly a couple inches of snow in the White Mountains tomorrow. We'll be dry here across southeastern Arizona. And what we'll really be tracking is this area of high pressure over the eastern Pacific Ocean. This starts to build into the southwest. And as it does, yeah, Yes, our temperatures are going to respond in that northerly direction, and this is sitting pretty close to us by Tuesday. Live look from our Storm Tracker 4 Skycam Network at Bigelow, and wow, there's a lot of snow up there. 58 at the airport's current temperature. Uh, winds out of the north northwest at 7 miles per hour, mostly into the 50s across the city of Tucson, and we're tracking temperatures into the 40s in many spots for Cochise County, low 50s for Santa Cruz County. So morning lows look like this. Going to be a chilly start. Could see some of that morning fog, low 40s for the most of the city of Tucson, Oracle upper 30s. And as we head into Cochise County, yeah, we'll see uh, temperatures right around freezing in Wilcox. So maybe that could mean some potential freezing fog, not out of the question. Low 60s for daytime highs, abundant sunshine returns to the area. 50s for Cochise County, low 60s for you in Nogales tomorrow. Here's your storm tracker for 10 day tracker. Then we'll go 63 tomorrow. Ample sunshine once that fog burns off. 62 on Friday, upper 60s Saturday, close to 70. Weekend looking great. 72 on Sunday, 73 Monday with warming trend continues. Mid 70s Tuesday, upper mid to upper 70s anyway by next Wednesday. And then look at that, maybe another pattern change Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Some of our long Long term forecast tools indicate yes, that pattern change where we'll turn colder potentially and wetter. Again, that is at least eight, nine, ten days from now. But those trends will follow them uh, pretty closely and update you as they come on in. But right now, uh, for the next several days, it's going to be sunny and turning definitely on the warm side of things. Back to you.